Hello people, welcome to a new episode of Rollercoaster Tycoon World. This is an updated review. Sandbox time. Okay, so um, it's a week later. Game's been out, so one patch of 425 meg. So I've decided to make a, a new map and see what we can come up with. And I'll show you what we made um, in the video. I've cut it extremely short because we don't get very far in the game. I found a major flaw in the game and basically I've decided on the review after playing Sandbox literally 16 hours wasted or even nearly 20 hours wasted trying to find out what the problem is. I've decided basically um, this game shouldn't be bought at this time um, because it basically will not load your save games. Okay, for all the people who bought the uh, the game after watching my review, um, I have to say sorry. I never checked out the sandbox at the time, since I've done so much sandbox work in beta. I didn't expect it to change much, and I did check out two things which always crashed in the beta, and they fixed them. But in the scenario, point of the game, I've not managed to get the game to crash, go wrong in any way. Okay, there's a few niggly parts, which I did mention about the path where the grass comes through and it don't line up. But it's just minor stuff at the end of the day. But the main point of this review is to check out the sandbox um, at its maximum. So take the game engine to its major maximum uh, ability. So we opened up the entire park. Again there, we see we put a large asset in. Uh, the waterfall they come up with, loads of rocks around it, and done a lot, a lot of work. Now, I'll say this is the second time I've made this this park. The first time I played it, I got about eight hours, nine hours in, um, and I've basically made all this and done a few bits, a few more bits. I thought, okay, save it, come back later to load up the game. It refused to load. Um, I thought, okay, I'll try an older, an older save. That refused to load. So I thought, okay, uh, let's do an integrity check. Reinstalled game. You name it, delete all folders, reinstalled. Don't know how many times. And it just refused to load the save. And I thought, okay, maybe somehow they got corrupt. These things can't always be that, that bad. So we decided to make the park for the second time, which we did now. And showing you in the video. So I spent another, I think, five, six hours creating it all again. And we got to a certain part, and the saves were working fine. But okay, do some more work. And I don't know if there's a bug where you can only have so many assets in the game. Or there's a problem with a, a certain flower, a certain rock. I don't know. But again, we've done it after six hours work. We done. We got to a certain point, and the saves refused to load. And then we can go back to the old saves. I thought, okay, well they're load. They loading up. Let's carry on again and do some more in the park somewhere else. And again, it just refuses to load. It's like, okay, you've added added too many rocks, or you've added too much of this, or too much of that, and we're not going to load it. We can't handle it. And it just basically just refuses to load the game. Now I've not added this on set in scenario mode because basically we just follow the game as it is and the game probably doesn't have the 250 or 300 rocks that I end up putting down in the sandbox or it has a it doesn't have a, a major graphic overload I don't know but for whatever reason it is I cannot find a way around the game crashing well basically not loading now I've even tried it on two different maps um, in sandbox, uh, I've even tried it with two different assets, uh, centerpieces, and I've even tried saving um, different places on my hard drive. And again, it just refuses to load after a certain amount of time or a certain amount of assets you put in the game. Now, at first, I thought it was something to do with me making piece by piece buildings. Um, I thought, okay, making a piece by piece building, I found out if you 
make a, a very high piece by piece building and stick that on a on a hillside with loads of shops in that crashed the game and I thought oh, okay we won't we won't make buildings like that for the time being until they fix it we just make low low level ones and I thought okay we just carry on as normal and basically I thought okay let's put another centerpiece in here some more rocks and again the game done the same thing it gets slower and slower and then basically you thought okay I'll save the game come back to it and all it does is just refuses to load it doesn't matter where I put the assets or the pieces I want to do in the park or it seems to be in my opinion it, it, the way if you go back to where I said the six tier building I thought okay the amount of items I've got in the building uh, say count to 50 items and I've now just added 50 items anywhere on the map in a certain location together it does the same thing it basically causes the same thing over and over again it stops the game from loading now I wish I actually done sandbox first and I could have told you all basically from there straight away don't buy the game and I will say again don't buy the game it's got a major flaw in a game where if you're gonna play sandbox now it might just be my computer I could be seriously seriously unlucky um, but I doubt it's just me I've tried like I say two maps started several times over and I've tried to find out what the bug is um, it's the sort of thing I do I can't find out why it's happening but it seems to me I've put too many items down on the on the map floor and it's causing it to crash or get corrupt and then it just refuses to load now if you can't load your saves then basically it's no point playing the game because you're always going to come back to your game do some more work on it at a later date and if you can't do that it's pointless playing so I say again don't buy the game So you can see the work I've done, um, and basically twice over, and a lot more hours after that, trying to figure out why it keeps crashing. And basically I'm not going to make any more videos until I at least find why it's not working. So I'm going to leave it there, and i say again, don't buy this game until they fix it. When that will be, I don't know. Until then, have fun all, bits out, good luck.